Hey guys, it's Morgan coming back to you with another video about the 2023 300XC. Uh, today we are going to be installing this. Uh, it is an anti-gravity eight cell, what do they call it? The AG801. Uh, now I know I saw a video somewhere either here on the YouTubes or Facebook or you know, whatever, one of those social media platforms and uh, they said that it does not fit. Um, I believe that, I think it might've been WFO Racer I forget. Sorry that I don't remember who it was. Make sure you comment on here and I'll pin your comment to the top so everybody checks out your channel too. So I believe that it doesn't fit, but I also believe that we can make it fit. So um, I'm going to get the seat off and let's dive in. All right, guys, here's the battery. Uh, and I think the complaint is that the, it's like the battery box is just weird enough shaped that it has to take KTM's battery. That's pretty classic uh, KTM or actually any manufacturer to be honest. Um, they all do things like that. Haha, <laughs> there we go. What a nightmare that is, but that's all right. Skyrichbattery.com been a fine battery, except that I noticed that when I uh, hit the start button, the reason I'm doing any of this is that when I hit the start button, uh, it drops all the way to like nine and a half volts, which is not good for um, battery life or starter life. So oh, we got the eight cell. Let's take a look. Pretty close. Man, it's... I don't know guys, looks pretty close to me. Let's see. All right, so it is just a little bit longer, but which means the, where it fits in the bottom is gonna be a little bit off probably, but gosh, it is close. Touche KTM, but we're gonna make this work. Look at that guys, it is <laughs> so close. So basically what we need to do is remove the ridge from one side of this and this. I think what we're gonna do is take this left side because there's a little bit less. So one second, I got the right tool. All right, got a die grinder, a little burr on it. I know this seems excessive, but I want to be able to put my own battery in here and not have to buy theirs. Let's see if I can bring in here. They can see that. A little chewed up looking, but that's all right. Nice and flat. Now we got to deal with this. that all cut out now. Let's see. All right. So now that fits. We might have to <clears throat> do just a tiny bit of Dremeling right there. One thing I really like about these anti-gravity batteries is it doesn't have those little nuts. It just hooks directly to the battery. All right, guys, got everything back on. Battery fits now. All right, 13.6, let's hit the button, or 13.16.
Not sure if you guys caught that, uh, but it only dropped at like 10 and a half. So that's another volt. And I don't know if you noticed, but how stinking fast that motor fired up. That's awesome. I'm psyched. So guys, with a little bit of dremeling and a little bit of time, you can fit an anti-gravity AG801. I think it's AG, is that what it's called? Yeah, AG801 in there. Um, that doesn't hurt anything. You can see battery doesn't want to move. It's in there tight. I could probably slide. Actually, take this foam, or actually maybe what I'll do I'm gonna take the foam off of this and slide it in there because that's probably this. This is probably the same thickness, um, just different. You know, the width of the old one is just a little bit narrower, so that fits good. I like that a lot. I'm happy to have that battery in there. I run that battery in that bike, and I've had it in there for a long time, and it works great even in the cold and everything. So I'm a big fan of anti gravity. I'm also happy that we got the uh, um, True North wiring harness routed a little bit better, so we got. So the relays here, got all that down in there. That's all happy now. Uh, so now, there you go, guys. Yes, you can put an anti-gravity in your bike. It does require, I guess, ruining the uh, battery box, but I don't really care about that. If I needed to, someday I could buy another battery tray. I don't think I'll ever need to. Hope you guys like that video. Hope you guys like that video. Hope it helps out. Talk to you guys soon.